All right, this is, let's see, this is grade three, module one, lesson 15, where we're going to be relating the arrays that we've been drawing to tape diagrams, uh, in particular to model that commutative property. For, so what I mean by that is, let's say we have an array, and we have array, and we can say we have two rows of three. So here's our array, two rows of three. That could be modeled as a tape diagram, as in two groups of three. So we would say here's three, here's three. So we might put three dots in here. And so both of these represent two times three. Similarly, we might have the array rotated 90 degrees like this. So that would be three rows of two. So the tape diagram might look like this. And we would put a two here, a two here, and a two here. And no, oh, maybe we'd put in stars here. And we would have three groups of two. So it would look like this, three times two. And so you can see the commutative property right here. Two times three is six, three times two is six. So in this problem, we're being asked to label the tape diagrams and then draw the array that it represents. So let's get started. And we see that there's nine triangles here. So we're going to put a nine right here. And that means there's going to be nine here, nine here, and nine here. So we have four groups of nine. And if we were to count all of that, all of these triangles, we would find that there are 36 triangles. So the answer is 36. Now, how might third graders add that and get that there's 36? Well, one way is they might go, oh, 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, and then subtract 4. And that might be a quick way to get 36. All right, if we're going to do the next part, part um, we've got four triangles right here. And we can see that there's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. So we have nine groups of four, which is 36. And so we would put the 36 right here. Now in both of these cases, we're supposed to draw the array. And I kind of forgot to do that. So let's do that now. Um, and I'm going to make, oh, let's do blue. All right. And so on this first example up here, we have four rows of nine. Because remember that first number, we traditionally label that as the rows. And the second number, we traditionally label that as columns. So four rows of 9. And so that's right, four rows of 9. So we're going to label. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh my goodness, you can barely see those. OK, and then we're going to do another row of 9, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then another one. And lastly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's what that array would look like four rows of nine. And then the next one is nine rows of four. So it's going to look like this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I wonder if I can make these fatter. Can I make these fat? Oh, yes. Look at this. Nice. So then we got one, two, three, four. Oh, that's much quicker. Oh, wow. I like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, how many do I have? How many rows do I have? I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, I don't like the fact that now I'm kind of looking like I'm drawing. Um, extra dots, but I'm not one, two, three, four, one, two. I'm going to move this up. Three, four, one, two, three, four. So how many do I have? Let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and nine. So that's what my nine rows of four would look like. All right, in this problem, we're asked to draw 
and label a tape diagram. So it says seven clowns hold four balloons each at the fair. So how I'm going to draw that is I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So each of these boxes represents a clown. And we've got four balloons. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four. So we have four balloons in each of these boxes. And we want to know how many balloons are total. So we can say seven groups of four is equal to, and in this case we would count up and we'd get 28. So seven times four is 28. Of course the cool thing is in this uh, lesson is that we will also want students to recognize that seven times four is 28. And that wraps up grade three module one lesson 15.